Hey guys, Nana received a decent buff from the latest update, so I wanted to give her a try. But you saw from the intro, my teammate didn't really want me to play Nana and was requesting a different mage. But little did he know that Nana is actually a pretty decent mage when she's played properly. I wanted to assure them that Nana was a very solid pick and I was confident using her. Interesting enough, I will be playing against a very naughty team. Winky face. It's 1v3, they are trying to intimidate the little kitty. They were able to harass me quite a lot at the start of the game, but soon they will witness how scary Nana actually is. They are underestimating Nana just because of her cute appearance. They are getting some kills here and there, but at least we managed to trade the kills for the turtle, so the situation wasn't too bad. Nana's Molina is a lot faster after the latest update. These two really want some of Nana's nuts. The really great thing about Nana is that she has a second life, so I'm not that worried when I'm getting ganged like this. I should have just recall and heal myself, but I really wanted to snipe that kill with flame shot. Smiley face. Oof, I can't believe she actually escaped from that. I even tried to predict her movement. Kagura has mistaken me for a different animal. I was trying to change my build, and I didn't realize I was getting ganked. I have seen a lot of players making this mistake, which is why I decided to show you firsthand why this is such a bad idea, especially when you are not in a safe area. Yup.
I really wanted to snipe someone with flame shot. That face. You can use Nana's Molina to provide vision in the bushes. They managed to flank us and kill our jungler first. Absolutely naughty. Since I still have my passive up, I can play a lot more aggressively. It's just so satisfying to get a kill with flame shot. Don't you agree?
and this is when the opponents are going to make a very epic comeback. Oof, I definitely could have killed her there, but not gonna lie, I got a bit nervous when Cho kept spamming retreat. Gonna use the ult so we don't lose our turret. Whenever you see the enemies are out of position like this, you gotta take advantage of that. Yusong doesn't even want to waste his time on Nana, because he knows that she has a free mortality as a passive. This is why I enjoy playing Nana from time to time, because usually the enemies don't even want to bother killing her first, unlike other mages. Anyway, that's it for today's video, I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, consider leaving a like and subscribing, thanks.